news um something really sad for me especially um because i've been a big fan of the guy's music for a while and um i've actually was wondering why he hadn't dropped anything new in a while but then i remember hearing something about him putting together a new tape or mixtape i think it was i'm not really too sure but regardless um the legend the young legend also known as little kid um from ysl has unfortunately passed away really 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 tragic news especially off the back of what's happening with young fug gunner in the whole of ysl to hear he's dying especially at the age of 24 is like no age to die for somebody who is just getting started in their career and had so much potential to fulfill it's really 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 incredibly sad um, this is from the New York Times. It reads as follows. Lil Key, a budding melodic rapper from Atlanta with a delicate voice that he often stretches to helium high, auto-tuned falsetto, died on Friday in Los Angeles. He's 24. The musician's death was confirmed on Saturday by a representative of his record label, 300 Entertainment, who did not specify a cause. Keith had been scheduled to perform at a music festival in Charlotte, North Carolina on Saturday night. Born Rahid Javon Rendon in March 1698, Keed hailed from the neighborhood known as Cleveland Cleveland Avenue for its main for for its main thoroughfare where Southwest Atlanta meets the suburb of East Point in Fulton County. He chronicled his turbulent upbringing there, surrounded by poverty, drugs, and violence, and in the three-part mixtape series Trapped in Cleveland, his final installment released in 2020. I dig deep into my story and let everybody see what I'm through, uh, what I went through, sorry, how I came up and I give them an insight into my life, he said in an interview with Complex. In 2018, Keen signed of 300 Entertainment and Young Stone Alive Records, or YSL, under the tutelage of mentor and melodic rapper Young Fuck. Earlier this week, Young Fuck and 27 members were uh, labeled were incarcerated on the sorry, were charged on a RICO indictment handed down by a grand jury in Fulton County. The indictment alleged that YSL is a criminal street gang responsible for murders, robberies, and drug dealing. I was actually surprised Keed and Little Got It, his, his um, younger brother actually were not wrapped up in that whole uh, RICO charge. So maybe it might have showed that they maybe had joined later on when it was actually a label. And obviously when the label slash street gang, you know, was basic, it was started. Unfortunately, everyone associated with it was tied up in it in some way, shape or form. Um, but yes, continuing to say, Chiquid was not charged, responded in a graphic posted on social media that said, YSL is a family, YSL is a label, YSL is a way of life, YSL is a lifestyle, YSL is not a gang. In 2020, Keed was named XXL Freshman Magazine's annual freshman class, a prominent launch pad for rappers, appearing on the covers alongside Giacarlo, five-year foreign. The year prior, his breakout single, Nameless, a raunchy number with a sing-song stickiness that became a regional radio hit. Kid also released seven fallen projects in two years, worked widely with artists from Lil Yai to Ghana, Future Lil Zivir and Rowdy Rich. Kid's brother and frequent collaborator Lil Got It reacted to the death on Friday night and said, I did all, I did all my cries. I know what you want me to do. And that's to go hard for mama, for mama, daddy, our brothers. Kid is also survived by his daughter, Nai, Nai Churo, no, sorry, Nature and his girlfriend known as Quan, Quana Bands. What am I supposed to tell Nature? Why am I going to tell you new, our new baby? Confident in winning with a wide smile and open-minded eagerness, Keed was frank about his ambition to grow beyond the, the often grim Southern street rap tales that often the first got him noticed. I want to be a megastar, he said. I don't want to be no superstar. I want to be a megastar. For his unlikely friendship... Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, true. For his unlikely friendship... Um, uh, with advertising executive and motivation guru Gary Vaynerchuk, Keed True was name dropping the song. The rapper nearly appeared in the 2019 Super Bowl commercial with the planters with Mr. Peanut and Ike Rogers. However, the role fell through. At the studio summit later that year, Mr. Vaynerchuk encouraged Keed to expand his presence on TikTok to reach a new audience. I'm going to do this, Keed said, energized by the audience, and I'll be like, he told me. His new music was starting to reflect that. Keed said, back then I was talking about stuff like typical rappers shooting and killing. Um, he told Complex because that's what everybody does. He continued, I was just talking about the stuff that happened in the streets, stuff around me. Now that I'd done grown from all of that, I moved myself out of that situation. I'm letting folks know why I'm so trapped in Clo why, why I was trapped in Cleveland, as far as me going to the hood every day and all the shootouts. I just had to move myself out of the situation to better myself and my family. So tragic, and he did all of that to move himself out, and then he ends up passing away through unspecified reasons um obviously speculating on that is a bit pointless at the moment so i'm not going to do that especially being a fan of his music 
but I will just say in a way to kind of honor his legacy, I will be playing a track off of Long Live Mexico, which was definitely one of my favorite tapes from him and definitely something that kind of caught my attention when I started to get to know him as an artist. So I'll definitely be playing a track off of that Long Live Mexico that came out, I think in that 2019, 2018. If you haven't checked that out, please do. Um, RIP Lil Keed, man. Absolutely tragic, tragic, tragic news off the back of what's happening with YSL. And yeah, pray, prayers go back to his, uh, his, his close friends, family, and everyone associated with him, man. Probably a hard, hard time right now. <laughs> 